What is up you guys? Welcome back to All Knots. Today I have the really fun pattern that actually was like an accident pattern. So I did a yarn review for the Premier Bobbin yarn and I just needed to whip something up to like use the actual yarn so I could review it. It's a crazy concept, I know. Um, but I actually ended up really, really liking this pattern. Um, first and foremost, it whips up super quick. Like I said, it's just like a couple of stitches that you need to use and it like, you just mindless. You can just go watch TV, listen to your podcast and finish this entire shawl. All in all, I think it literally just make, took me one evening to do this. So really not that long at all. Before I chit chat more about this amazing new pattern, let me just go grab it and show you what it looks like. I didn't start off wearing it because it is a little bit warm right now in my house. So I was just like sweating with it on. So the less I need to wear it right now, the better. But for the mornings, it's gonna be really nice. All right, so here's what it looks like. Um, if I can get it adjusted here. It's basically just that adorable fishnet design, which is super fun. And like I said, it's super quick because it's big, chunky stitches basically and it just like flies by, which are my favorite patterns to just do something that is like nice to have when you're sitting at the end of the night and you just wanna like keep your hands busy, but also have something fun and cool at the end of your project. So yeah. Basically this ends up being a pretty good sized shawl. Um, I could probably stand up and show you. So I mean, it can easily wrap around your body here. So this ends up being a pretty good size shawl. Um, I am 5'5", five five and it like it goes to about the middle of my back. And this entire thing came from only one, I guess you can't say skein, one bobbin of yarn from the Premier Yarn. So let me show you that. So this entire thing, just one of these, to create this entire project, which is always cool because I love when you just need to be to buy like the least amount of things, materials, in order to get a really fun project. And then to make it even a little bit cooler, I had this adorable little death moth here. How cool is that, you guys? Basically, it's just like this cute little adorable brooch that I had and I had no idea what I was gonna use it for. So I think it looks adorable with this. And if you guys like it, I'll link it down below so you guys can go check it out and like maybe attach it onto yours too. I did end up actually making a second one of these because I had two other bobbins that I had no idea what I was gonna do with it. Um, so I just ended up combining both of them together and it made a giant one. It almost ended up being like a little like blanket shawl. So if that's something you're into too, there's always options. Like I said, this is a very open-ended pattern. So you literally can start and stop it whenever you want to. Um, I just ended up going just to use the one. Uh, simply because I just wanted to test it out. But yeah, it's it's super open-ended. So if you like like smaller ones, if you wanted to make it into like a scarf instead of a shawl, that would totally work. Just, you know, reduce the rolls. Or like I said, if you want to make a giant blanket out of it, just use two of the bobbins and you're good to go. One of the main things that I really, really love about this pattern or just the yarn that I ended up using for this is that it's machine wash and dryable. And that is a huge thing for me when I'm making garments. I do not want to take the time to dry clean or like hand wash items, especially like this. Like I'm gonna wear this all the time, literally all the time. And um, right now it's kind of like bonfire season. So it's like the perfect thing to wear outside when you're on a bonfire. You still want to wear like your tank tops and shorts cause it's hot out, but then like it starts to get a little chilly. So this is like the perfect thing to have along with you. But also then it's just going to smell like smoke the, for the rest of however long you have until you wash it. So basically when I make stuff like this, I want it to be machine wash and dryable. This has been washed and dried and thrown in the dryer guys, like thrown in the dryer on high because I'm impatient and it's been in there four times and it basically hasn't even changed. It didn't shrink at all. There was hardly any pills that came off of it. And then my lint trap also wasn't full of a ton of fibers, basically signifying that you're destroying your garment because all of the fibers are falling out of it. None of that happened. And so, like I said, I've already thrown it through there multiple times. So you don't even have to worry about that. 
So before we go ahead and jump into this pattern, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well if you haven't yet already because we are getting every single day a little bit closer to October, to spooky season. And like I've said before, this entire channel is all about the spooky season. So the entire month of October is just gonna be an explosion of crochet and yarn goodness. So you're gonna wanna be a part of that. So make sure you hit those bells down below so you're just a part of it and you don't have to worry about it and we can just have like the greatest spooky season ever all right so i think that's pretty much all i have to say about the pattern so let's just go ahead and grab our materials and let's get hooking all right so first thing you're going to need is one five millimeter crochet hook one bobbin of yarn in the color nighttime one pair of scissors one death moth embellishment and then we're ready to start our pattern Starting off, we're going to attach that yarn onto our hook and we're going to make a foundation chain of 164. Next, we're gonna be working in the fourth chain from the hook. So go ahead and count that out, and all you're gonna do is place one single crochet in that spot. Now you're gonna chain three, then skip the next two spaces, and single crochet in that following stitch. So this is gonna be the pattern that you're gonna follow all the way across. Just chain three, skip the next two spaces, and then place one single crochet in that following stitch. You're gonna do that all the way across until you get to that very last stitch, and you're gonna simply place one single crochet in that last stitch space. For row number three, simply chain three and then turn your project. And now we're gonna be working in those chain three spaces that you made in the previous row. So simply put one single crochet in there, followed up by three chains. Then you're gonna find that next single three single crochet chain space that you made previously and place one single crochet in that space. And this is gonna be a pattern that you follow all the way across. And just like the row before, when you get to the very last stitch, you're gonna place just one single crochet. Now we're gonna be working in rows four through 53, and all we're gonna do is repeat exactly the same thing we did for row number three. So go ahead and grab a stitch counter or however you can keep track. Write it down on a pen and paper if that works out for you too. But just go ahead and follow row number three for rows four through 53, and then I'll meet you at row 54. Once you've made it, made it to row 54, that's all we're gonna be doing to increase the size of the shawl. 
and now we're just going to work on finishing up the edging here and how we're going to go about that is at, at each corner we're going to chain one and then in each stitch you're going to place one single crochet all the way across after you've completed that all the way around your shawl the only thing that's left to do is cut that working yarn and go ahead and weave in your ends For like summer nights, these are the best to like snuggle up with because it's just like a little bit of something on. Like I don't want a huge giant blankie on me right now because it's really hot outside, but like also it's just like a comfort thing when you're laying and watching TV, you know? So if you guys enjoyed this pattern, don't forget to comment down below with a black heart so I know that you loved it. And then also maybe I'll like start making some more garments on this channel. Um, it's not really normally my thing. I really love making like bags and stuff like that, but this pattern was super fun and I enjoyed it. So if this is something that you guys also enjoy, let me know down below so then I can keep on pumping these patterns out for you guys. All right, you guys, so that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for crocheting along with me and until next time, keep on hooking.